Hi, it's uh, Paul Liano here from Tangmere Dental Care near Chichester. Um, I had a question asked in relation to uh, the amount of aerosol produced during a real um, AGP procedure, but only using the nurse's surgery suction. Um, I did record one today uh, using the GoPro. Um, obviously, it felt really strange not working through the AeroShield because I feel that reassurance of uh, working the other side of a, effectively a visor that's got suction underneath it and drawing away the aerosol. But I did a, a, a lovely one. Sadly, the GoPro though that I'd actually set up, I messed up a little bit. Uh, it was in the hyperlapse mode, so it's all in um, fast speed. I'm not too sure how fast the GoPro does, but of course it does show the amount of aerosol. And I think it, we were hanging around for something like 45 minutes for the the aerosol to settle. So obviously I'll put this out there anyway, just uh, for interest. Obviously it is a, a bit of a, a, a messed up one, so I'm sorry about that. And uh, and yeah, I mean, you can sort of see that the aerosol goes up and then, um, and then takes quite a long time to come down. Uh, the procedure that I did uh, was actually removing orthodontic brackets, the uh, composite, the adhesive on all the teeth. So there was quite a lot of drilling with the high speed. Uh, polishing also with the um, with the slow speed and uh, there was stuff that was actually considered to be non-AGP what I'll do is I'll actually put in the uh, I'll, I'll try and put a little a little marker where that actually occurs so you can see that actually aerosol was measured during what would be considered a non-AGP where we actually weren't using water spray uh, that was something that was quite interesting of course, um, I was intending adding a timer to show how quickly the aerosol did settle. Um, that's something I'm not going to be able to do using with the hyperlapse there. But of course, this is just sort of a now just going to be a quick frame of reference. So um, on with the uh, the video.
Right, okay, well obviously as you can see, um, that took absolutely ages. It uh, kept going for uh, probably 45 minutes before I called it at the end and uh, the, um, the particulate meter timed out a couple of times, the GoPro battery finally died. Um, and uh, the aerosol levels just didn't settle. So the message here is uh, very much uh, don't use uh, just uh, the normal high volume aspiration that the nurse uses. It just isn't good enough. There's going to be massive amount of fallow time going well beyond uh, 45 minutes. So you're going to need to install something else. Um, obviously the recommendations are external um, extraction. Um, I do have that, um, but uh, I just found it to be ineffectual when I was actually doing my tests. So obviously at the end of the day, I'm not going to be using something which I consider isn't up to the job. So um, control at the point of production, um, you know, rubber dam, isolite, uh, then the LEV, and I've done lots of AGP, real AGP tests with those mitigations in place and, uh, and no... Uh, measurable aerosol were just a little bit of measurable aerosol but it all settled within 20 seconds so I'll link those videos or at the end here um, if somebody wants me to repeat this uh, actually <laughs> not hyperlapsed uh, then uh, then put in the comments below I'd be very very happy to, to try and do that again but it was such a good one today and obviously she wasn't happy to have her brackets rebonded and to do it all over again. So uh, maybe, maybe next time. Anyway, thanks for watching again, guys. See you later.